So here we are in the kind of heart of London's tech scene at Tech Hub. Um, and we're a kind of it's exciting times, right? Because we've uh, we just have the the announcement that we're you know developer economics 2011 is available. So uh, this is like the second year, I guess, we've been working together on this kind of research. So uh, what, what's been the kind of big changes from 2010 to 2011 in the process that you guys have gone through in terms of putting the report together? So it's been a almost complete reinvention of the report, both in terms of how we approach developers, the questions we asked. Also, we used a lot of partners, yeah. so platform vendors, OEMs, you know, tools vendors who reached out to developers. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, that's the only way you can get a representative sample. And I, and I guess the success of last year's report helped. You know, oh, cause, definitely. Because this year we have a bit of profile, whereas last year we were kind of trying to start something from scratch and no one knew the quality of the report and it was, it was hard yeah, yeah. to generate interest and momentum. And, and I think... Developer economics is almost developed into a brand name. Mm. This is seen now as the definitive report because you know it, it's in-depth analysis. Firstly, it's asking the right questions, it's going to the right developers, and I think it's coming up with the juiciest insights. Yeah. So, so on that point, then, you know, can you can you tease a little bit some of the kind of the key kind of insights, the key nuggets from this year's research? So, so depending on who from our team you'll ask, but. Uh, my personal favorites are the Mindshare uh -huh. and what we call Intentshare. Uh -huh. So basically Mindshare says, irrespective of what platform you're developing on, so you might be an Android guy or an iOS guy, or, yeah. or you might be doing multiple platforms, what are the most popular platforms developers are currently using? Yeah. And so we have this, uh, what we call the uh, Developer Mindshare Index, uh -huh. which gives you a very interesting curve showing which are the most popular and which are the least popular OSs. Yeah. Of course, iOS and Android are out there, but this year, especially mobile web, is pretty strong. Uh, I mean, I, th I think the thing that I'm really excited about with this year's report versus the first report we did is we've gone out and we've, we're talking to brands as well and kind of, That's the, kind of the kind of decision makers in these kind of big companies that are experimenting with mobile and you know figuring out their strategies. Any kind of insights from that from that piece of work? So, uh, firstly, it's been a uh, an eye-opening experience in terms of saying. Well, we've looked too much at developers, and mm. they are, you know, they're the developer ecosystem. There's what many people pay money to understand and, and, and target. But there's also all the guys who are actually um, funding and fueling this economy. Yeah. And it's often um, underappreciated, certainly underhyped, mm. because if it's developers and hype and the openness of mobile that's started this whole app economy, it's the verticals and the brands that are actually fueling it. And, and I think that the, the thing that's really fascinating for me there is it's really important that developers understand how brands are thinking because they're ultimately going to be the people buying the services from the developers. Exactly. So you really need to understand the buying power and what they want from exactly. applications because I guess you know, lots of developers are kind of struggling with how, how to make money, what their business model should be, exactly. paper download, advertising, exactly. subscription, but of course let's not forget you know, paid for, um, you know, uh, work for brands or acquisition by larger companies. You know, so understanding how these animals kind of think is, is really important. So this is kind of 50 pages, packed full of insights, information, Absolutely. data. Absolutely. So where can people go get it when it's, uh, when it's published? Uh, so I think we're, uh, uh, we're mentioning the URL at the end of this video. Yep. Uh, we'll and probably be on screen around here somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're also, uh, I think this is going to be available on, on PDF. Uh, last year we had people actually downloading it and putting it on SlideShare. I think this yep. year we're going to be putting it ourselves <laughs> uh, as well. Um, and of course we have a couple of, or actually it's two or three conferences we're yep. uh, presenting this at. And yep. so it's the opportunity also to get feedback and hear what yeah, I definitely other people think that. about it. I think coming to see you guys actually present it is going to be far more insightful than just maybe yeah. just reading it. So keep an eye out for the listings of where you're going to be and mm -hmm. come along and you know take a look. Mm -hmm. Great, okay. Well, that's Definitely. looking forward to it. Yeah. Congratulations. Thanks,